Meanwhile, the, business the owners in La Mesa are also picking up the pieces after looters broke into stores and caused all sorts of damage over the weekend. This was after protests. Tenu supporter Marie Coronel shows us the hardship that these businesses are now facing. The cleanup process has begun for the businesses inside of this La Mesa shopping center. More than 48 hours after looters broke into their stores, stealing their merchandise. The floors are trapped. Played Against Sports was supposed to open its doors to the public Monday. It had been closed because of the coronavirus pandemic. But instead of dealing with customers, so everything got destroyed from water and fire. Owner Dan Buxton is dealing with his insurance as he tries to salvage what he can from this weekend's destruction. When looters broke into his store, stealing his stuff and setting the place on fire. We have a lot of good pictures of people's faces that we're going to be providing to detectives and officers and all that. Um, so the thing I'd say is you may or may not get caught for what you did but you will always know that the possibility is there. And the mayor of La Mesa says it's disheartening to know people destroyed property and hurt the livelihood of businesses in the community. But he's also praising the individuals that came together Sunday, picking up brooms and hammers, helping businesses clean and secure their buildings. Came out by 6.30 in the morning with shovels and with brooms and with paint cans and started to clean up the city. And by 8.30, there were a thousand working throughout the city. Dan says in a few weeks they were going to celebrate the store's one-year anniversary. Instead, he's focusing on getting the repairs done, allowing him to reopen once again. There have been many GoFundMe pages that have been created for the businesses in this La Mesa shopping center. And Dan tells me he's just grateful and in awe of the support that they've gotten from the community. From La Mesa, Marie Cornell, 10 News.